Hey guys, this is Jeff Sparks from Between Pain. I would like to introduce you to the first of a four-part series today I'm calling One Good Tree. This series begins with one simple question. If I am here and I want to go there, where's my path? How do I get there? You know, so often as artists, we are very well aware of our current position in artistic growth. And we're equally aware of that lofty place we want to be someday down the road. But the question is, how do we get there? Where is the path that will take me there, that place that I can envision and see? How do I get there? And out of all of the paths available to me, which one might be the shortest distance? You know, artists can spend years stuck wondering where they're at and how to move forward. They paint, they paint, they paint, because after all, that's what we're told to do, right? I mean, we're supposed to paint those miles of canvas and move forward. But eventually, if we're not making any momentum and moving forward, we end up beating our heads against the wall wondering, why is this not working? Well, you know, that's what this video is going to be about. We're going to talk about this. And if you believe in your heart that you can really be somebody as an artist, uh, then what would happen if I gave you a magic wand that said, okay, there you go. Go be that artist. And you took that wand and bam, struck the ground at your feet and the path to your heart's desire revealed itself. I mean, wouldn't that be great? The brush and bramble clear, the trees part ways, and your long and winding road stretched on before you. Well, as fantastic or even fantastical as this may sound, actually, it's kind of what we're doing here today in this video. And we're launching this series to help you do just this very thing. Now, I don't have a magic wand, and I'm not saying there's not going to be a lot of work involved in this. What I am saying is that you don't have to spin your wheels. There is a way. In the next four videos, including this one and three others to follow, my goal is to help you in the right direction, give you some essential tools, and put your feet on the path. Now, do you know, and this is a confession on my part, I was there. I can speak with experience about this. I was spinning my wheels for years wondering why I wasn't moving forward. I could see where I needed to go. I was very well aware of where I was at, but I couldn't figure out how to get there. Where was the path? I took workshop after workshop, and yet there was a lot of great information, but almost nothing about what to do with that information once I received it. When I asked about it, the most common uh, answer was one I'm sure you've heard all the time, and that is paint miles of canvas. Well, now before you go send me an email and say, well, you know, how, how dare I, you know, trample on that, I'm not. I believe that. I believe it's absolutely essential to paint miles and miles of canvas. But we must remember a very huge difference between painting miles of canvas standing in one spot and painting miles of canvas as we move down that long and winding road to our goals. And this is the problem in a nutshell. We attend a workshop, we see that our skills improve, and we stand still. Now, of course, this is how it should be for a time. If you take a workshop or read a book or study with someone, you do practice that and you absorb it and, you know, it becomes part of you. But only for a time. It's not our goal to stay put. And how can it be? If we're going to stand out like a tree, one good tree, standing out among the forest of trees, we have to do something a little bit different. So are you with me on this? Because the next question you may want to ask is, well, I get it, but what do I do? How do I, in fact, move forward? As I mentioned, we're going to answer that question as we move through all of these different vi videos. The next video, video two you see on the screen, is called Collecting Knowledge. That's how I know I can share this with you in confidence. The next video will teach you how to do that. If you look at the screen, you see the subtitle, Save Weeks, Even Months of Training by Learning a Couple of Techniques for Acquiring Fine Art Knowledge. And if you use these tools, you will go rapidly. I will talk to you in this video about the important discipline of collecting knowledge. Now, pause a moment. Did you just hear what I said? Collecting knowledge. Now, collecting knowledge is different than simply absorbing lots of information. For instance, do you know what the price of a gallon of gas is in Traverse City, Michigan? I mean, neither do I, but I mean, I could look it up. It's informative, I, I, I guess. There's information about it out there, but it doesn't really impact your life. It's not important to you, and therefore, you have no assigned value to it. 
If, however, you are on a road trip and you're budgeting for gas and, and, and that budget is tight and every stop along the way is essential and you're stopping in Traverse City, Michigan, and you plan to be passing through the town, then this knowledge is su- then this information is suddenly converted to knowledge. Do you see the difference? The moment we attach weight or importance or value that's part of a larger plan in our lives, we have created knowledge. Bits of information suddenly become important, and that becomes knowledge. So this is more important than you may realize in your journey towards your goals. Why? Because, very simple, as artists, especially if we are self-taught artists, we don't know what we don't know. For that reason, we absorb lots and lots of information, and it's scattered all around our heads. So it is essential that we develop a way of analyzing this information in order that we might know what bits of it will be important to our plan. Then we convert that into usable knowledge. And yet, if there is one thing every artist does, it is gather lots of information. What very few artists do is, in fact, have a place to structure and convert that information into essential knowledge. So as I mentioned, that's video two, but in video three, what we really want is to set that knowledge apart by creating a structure. In short, you must be different and your work must be important to someone beyond yourself if you're gonna make it as an artist. It must have your unique stamp that no one else can claim. So how does that happen? How does that uniqueness, that style, if you will, occur? It happens by knowing how to take knowledge, knowledge you've just converted from scattered bits of information, and reframe it in a way that is unique to you. And we're going to talk a lot about this and how you do it. So hang on if it sounds a little odd right now, because we're really getting into some cool things that you may not have heard before. And if the, if you look down here now at the fourth video, I have this really weird phrase there, the protean paradigm. You know, by the third video in this series, uh, the first one, second, and third, you know, you will have a pretty good grasp of what you need to be doing to set yourself apart, to be that one good tree producing really unique fruit in your work. But here's the problem. There's one more thing you need. And I've invented this term. It's called the protean paradigm. Um, it's okay if you don't know what the term means right now. Uh, you will by the end of that fourth video. But suffice it to say, if we stopped at video number three in this series uh, and you learned all about how to separate yourself from the pack, to stand out and do some amazing things with your knowledge base, you could still run the risk of standing still, of painting those miles of canvas without any forward momentum. So with the protean paradigm, I will introduce you to a very unique tool I've come up with on my own. And this can be a tool you can rely on. And it's a unique tool that uh, will be unique to you or every other person that uses it. So it's really cool and it will help you move forward and gain momentum in the work, in the way your knowledge is being used to set yourself apart. So this will be a really fun thing. Um, Basically, one good tree. Here's a little visual of, of it all here. We're just going to lay out a few starting concepts in the next couple frames, and I'll be quick about it. The graphic before you is a simple visual to illustrate a path, okay? So to the left, that's where you're at. To the right, that's where you want to be. Now, at the very far right, I have the word goal and goals. Now look, it's okay if you're struggling with goals. It's not natural for us to, to think about that. So in upcoming videos, I'm going to have a series on goals and goal setting. In fact, I have this whole program called My One Thing. It's a goal setting and goal accomplishing workshop. So stay tuned if you are struggling with clarity in your goals. You have in mind where you're at and where you want to go. And that's a very important thing as we begin this journey. Really, what am I doing? If you see the arrow on the screen, I'm helping you move from one side of this spectrum to the other. And in these set of four videos, I'll talk with you about how you think. Now, everything I'm talking to you about is really thinking. You know, thinking is so important because it reflects your mindset. Mindset completely determines your success, your rate of success, like even if you're going to be successful at all. Your mindset is everything. And how you structure and frame your knowledge 
determines how you're going to structure and frame your success later down the road. You haven't analyzed how you think before. I cannot emphasize enough uh, you know, to, to think about that. Think about what your structure is and how you take in information. It is essential to your success, and these four videos going to do that. We're going to lay out this and give you structures on which to hang your knowledge and really help you move forward. In fact, I will go as far as to say this. Learning how to structure your knowledge as an artist is more important than paint mixing, brushwork, or even who you studied with or what books you read. It's that essential. Now, sometimes thinking looks a lot like this. Now, this is a very colorful graphic, and it's a rough model of our brains absorbing just information. Here, you watch the art DVDs, so that's some of what those dots are up there. You attend workshops, there's more of those dots up there. You read books and you subscribe to art magazines. There's lots of activity and it's feeding lots of information. But never mistake activity for productivity. You know, my father-in-law is a neurologist. We talk about the brain on almost a daily basis. In fact, his specialty is Alzheimer's disease, and so our conversation over the years has turned often to this disease. The thing that he said, and it will always stay with me, and it helped me understand how I think a lot and how we think as people and as artists, he said that when people struggle with Alzheimer's uh, are those who uh, experience the worst effects of it more quickly than other people. And he said the reason why is those who suffer from Alzheimer's the worst will often have fewer connections to their knowledge base than other people. For instance, if you know how to get to your house and you drive back and forth to and from your house, you know, 10 times a day for 50 years, there's so many connections and different ways of getting there in your mind that that information is the last to go. It's this sporadic, loose bits of information that go the quickest. Now, by analogy, I found this to be exactly the same problem with artists especially self-taught artists who really piece together and cobble together their education. But for artists, this isn't a memory loss. It's really just a disintegration of connections. We have a hard time just absorbing information without a structure on which to hang it. What we want to do is take this and turn it into this. And this is organized knowledge. We go from loose information organized knowledge. It's pretty simple. If we will give ourselves a permission to create our own structure of knowledge and resist the temptation to copy another artist's structure, then the knowledge structure we develop will be completely and utterly unique and help us produce some fabulous work. So the next image here is just another way to organize this. Self-taught artists have a distinct advantage here because we're not having a lot of things put into us with structure already. We can create that on our own. So as we go through these videos, please know, I do not believe these four videos are going to be some panacea, some quick fix or cure-all, but it is illumination, light that I hope will help you see your path forward. And I know right now these are great concepts in theory. What we will do is put them in concrete in the next few videos, and I think you'll enjoy it. So here it all is in a nutshell, moving from bits of information to organized, useful knowledge. And does this stop after these four videos? No, not at all. While the videos will keep coming on all sorts of topics that I create, these four videos alone form the foundation and bedrock for all that I'm doing here with Between Paint. But they may not be enough for you. Maybe you need a little extra help, a little more uh, work beyond this to take, it, take you and your work to the next level, then I want you to come and talk to me. Come to my website and contact me for some guidance. I'm happy to do it. Very inexpensive, basic critiques to help you out, moving all the way up into monthly mentoring, mentoring and I'm very happy to do that. Uh, go to my website. You can see my website uh, there at the bottom in the blue, jeffreysparks.com. Come and check it out, you know, and if you're interested, give it a shot. Try it out. I'd love to work with you and help you take and uh, take your work where it's at now and move it towards your ultimate goals. And along the way, really try to help you with restructuring and reframing your knowledge. So, okay, guys, you guys take care. And until the next video, I'm Jeff Sparks at Between Paint. Have a great week.